channel. I'm Crafty Lady Edda. Welcome, all my new subscribers, my longtime subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Now, today we're going to be doing an awesome project. Now, if you like what I do, please subscribe, share, and tap that notification bell, and YouTube will certainly notify you of all my upcoming videos. And like. Okay, well, with all this being said, let's get crafting. Come on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Edda. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we can make a little cute little gnome house. Um, I'm going to be doing some little gnome little, little gnome houses in a little series because I'm going to make a little gnome village outside in my backyard and I'm going to take you through the process. It's going to be throughout several videos, okay? It's not going to be all in one video. It would be too long. So for today's project, I'm going to do a house. And we're going to use this birdhouse. I got this birdhouse at Dollar Tree for five dollars. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's a birdhouse. It had a little string here to hang, but I took it off. You're going to need some rocks. These are from Dollar Tree. You're going to need uh, a door. This is from Dollar Tree. And some pieces of wood. These are just pieces of wood that I collected in my backyard. We're going to use it for the top. And you're going to need some moss. This is a, uh, let me see, it's like a Spanish moss. I got this one at uh, uh, Walmart. You're going to need some little embellishments. Uh, I'm just going to use a little gnome that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a piece of plastic because I'm going to make this look like a window using this plastic. Okay, just recycle. And you're going to need some brown paint. Because I'm going to paint this uh, brown and so it'll, it will mix in with the hot, with the rocks. And I'm also going to paint this uh, this little wagon or seat here where I'm going to put my little gnome right here like that. Just standing, maybe standing in the front. Um, I'm going to paint it a different color along with the, the window. The window I'm going to paint it white. Okay, well with all this being said, let's get started. I just started painting these. It's okay if it looks kind of uh, messy because I'm going to put cover this with the door and uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint the, the chimney red and black. So
Okay guys, I went ahead and painted the, the chimney red and black and the whole box brown. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this to the I'm gonna use this and hot glue. This is an industrial glue, it's a gorilla glue, it's a constructive construction adhesive. So Sure that you clean up the excess uh, glue. Okay, so you're just going to start. Well, this doesn't come out, so let me try this in Let me see if I can find another one. Okay, this is going to be like putting a puzzle together. You're going to have to put a very little. I just want to show you so far, uh, see how I'm gluing the rocks to it? So I'm just fitting the rocks in between whatever can fit in there, okay? So I'm just filling in all the gaps. You just have to find the rock and stick it in here. Like that, okay? It's gonna come out super cute. Guys, my advice to you would be to fit the rock in before you glue it down. Okay. This is how it's coming out so far. You see how I'm doing this? I'm just trying to fit the rocks in wherever they could fit. And I added these on there for the window. I'm going to put another one here. Okay. It's coming out super cute. Okay. I'm trying to fill in all the little gaps with little rocks. Okay. fat one so I'm going to put them right here on the sides okay so I'm going to use wood glue and maybe a little bit of hot glue too
Okay, guys, what I'm doing with these twigs is, can you see? I'm putting, instead of putting it up here, I'm putting it down here because I'm gonna fill in these ball spots with some grass, okay, or that moss. I'm trying to make it look like it was put together like, like a little fairy house. Okay guys, I've already kind of did this like this, and I'm gonna fill in this part with the grass to cover it up. So I'm kind of like, uh, Spreading some of these throughout here, like that. Like I said, it's okay if uh, uh, Yeah, so just put it anywhere on here. We're gonna cover the whole top with uh, grass. You ever seen those uh, little gnome or fairy houses, how they have wood and rocks? That's the effect I'm trying to do here. back here I'm just going to put rocks on the side and I'm going to leave the back like that I'm not going to put anything on the back just on the side right here with rocks Cabo is going to be outside so I'm going to seal it and everything with something that make it weatherproof it'll be an outdoor sealer okay, now guys I went ahead and put up I went ahead and put this like this on the side because I'm going to put rocks here and fill the rest up with rocks. I'm going to put grass up in here, all inside there, and a few cracks here, okay? Make it look like a little fairy house. Okay, hey guys, this is what I have so far. Um, I went ahead and made this up here. It was that plastic I had, and I made it look like stained glass up there at the top. See it? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the this moss in between there. But before I do that, I'm going to seal it with uh, some kind of a sealant first, okay? I'll be back.
things came out, um, you just kind of have to work it in and use a stick to push it in. I'm still kind of pushing it in a little bit. Okay. I'm almost done. I just need this part here. Look at all this coming out. It's coming out super cute. Just uh, kind of push them in between. In between there. Yeah, this is going to be my little fairy house for outside. I'm going to start a little fairy garden. And I want to show you all how much fun it is to make one. A lot of this stuff I got at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So all I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of hot glue and I'm just getting some of this and I'm just using the stick and putting it on there. So you don't burn your fingers. There you go. See like that. Just put it on a little bit at a time. It's kind of sticky. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these flowers here to make it look like. And I'm going to put this little gnome here. I think I'll put them up here. Like he's coming out, out of the house.
was the finished product. Thought it came out super cute. I did the top. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos and share. Okay, well, with all this being said, keep on crafting. Bye.